We're in the place. At 26, Cameron Goldberg is in the minority, a peak millennial with property of his own. I've always been like a practical person, so I don't buy a lot. And I've kind of taken that and I applied that when I got a job and I started to make more money. I still had that mentality. Goldberg knew he wanted to be in the city and he wanted a place with character. But character often comes at a cost, like much of what's on the market in the GTA. It's not supposed to be comfortable, but if you have the ability to or you're close to, try to be creative and make it work because the future you will probably think the current you making a decision that seems so risky and scary. The number of peak millennials is poised to grow 17% by 2021 compared to 2016, buying power that's being closely watched by the real estate community. They are the dominant economic force of our time. There are more peak millennials than any other age group ever, including the boomers. The majority of peak millennials included in a Royal LePage survey believe home ownership is a good investment. 69% hope to own a place in the next five years. 57% believe they'll actually be able to afford one. But to make that 20% down payment, some are having to dip into savings or live with mom and dad. If you don't have that amount of money right away, then it makes more sense to stay at home instead of going out and paying rent because that money is not necessarily going to get you back into the market. While the bulk of peak millennials surveyed prefer to buy a detached home, just 36% think they'll be able to find one. I have a lot of clients come to me and say, I want to buy my perfect house, but the average detached home in Toronto is $1.3 million. And the price gap between condos and detached home is almost $600,000, right? So if they can get into the market now, it will help them move up the property ladder over time. But discipline is a big part of the equation parting ways with what you don't need for a roof over your head. Now, more than 60% of those who were surveyed, and this was a cross Canada survey, they said that they felt that the homes in their area were not affordable. Not surprisingly, a good chunk of the people who responded with that were those who lived in Ontario and British Columbia.